What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Lace Up channel. Today we're going to be discussing one of the most frequently asked questions that we get from our distributors. And that is how do you create multiple units of measurement per item in QuickBooks? To begin, you have two ways to enable the units of measure. The easiest way to do so is to go to list, item list, to double click on an item and to click enable. Option number two is to go to edit, preferences, items and in inventory, right here, company preferences, and unit of measure, enable. What we're going to enable today is multiple units of measure per item. This is for those of you that sell the same item in different units of measure. What we want to do is we want to select multiple units of measure per item here. Then we click finish, we click OK, and QuickBooks closes all of the windows to enable the feature. Now we want to assign that unit of measure to an item. To begin we go to list, item list. Next, we're going to select the item. I'm going to use a yummy candy. A yummy candy can be sold either in each or case. A case contains 12 eaches. To create the unit of measure, I click on the item. I hit this drop down menu and I click add new. Since we sell in the each and in the case, we're going to select count. If you see, it tells you here each box, case, dozen. Those are the suggested units of measure. Then we click next. Now we want to select the base unit of measure. The base unit of measure is going to be the smallest unit of measure that you sell that product in. I'm going to select each. Next, I'm going to select the conversion of the each, which in this scenario is the case. So let's go ahead and check mark case. And we want to input how many eaches to a case. In this scenario, there is 12 yummy candies in a case of yummy candies. Now we want to select the default units of measure. In most scenarios, the distributors that we work with purchase in cases and also sell in cases. That being said, there are situations in which a distributor, when they're in the field, will also sell in eaches. When we're done, we hit next and we want to name the unit of measure. Let's call it a yummy candy 12 each per case. Finish. Here's the unit of measure for my yummy candy. When I'm done, I click OK. Now let's create a transaction with that unit of measure. To create a transaction, we go customers, create invoices. Let's select any customer in our list here. We're going to go here, we're going to type A yummy candy. And if you look, automatically it will default to the default sales unit of measure. But if I hit this drop down, I can change it from a case to an each and it'll reflect in the price accordingly. When I'm done creating the invoice, I hit save and close. And I've just created an invoice with a unit of measurement. Thank you for watching the latest installment in our QuickBooks tutorial series. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel down below or for more details on our company, click the link in the description. Thank you and we'll see you next video.